okay. I was worried I wouldn't be able to, uh... Right, here we go. Excellent. Okay. I've tried this part a few times now, and this part is a puzzle. Straight up. It's not just like a it's not just like a regular sort of enemy encounter. This one is a puzzle. Okay, I suppose all of them are puzzles. So what I've learned here, don't fuck around trying to sneak around, go fast. Cause you're still, cause like Okay, you need okay. I, I failed this like probably five times now. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I do and see if it works. I hope it works. Let me get Come on, motherfucker. It all ends in me. <laughs> now come on, go, 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 go! That worked. Done. Well, that was it, though. Yeah, that took me many tries <laughs> to do. Cause I tried sneaking and I tried doing this and that. Thomas, you are here. I can feel it. I mean, I don't see that that electricity though being what takes him down. Considering we blew him the fuck up, but he didn't stay down. How would you expect electricity to do it if a fucking explosion couldn't do it? Oh? A thin line. Here's what I know. I think I know. The powers come from the same place, but they can manifest in a different way. Yep. This is exactly what I was talking about earlier. She seems to exist in both places. As if her mind can inhabit two bodies at once. To her, whatever happens in one place affects the other. Does she see the line between the two, or are they one of the same? I was saying this shit earlier. New hypothesis. Death thins out the veil between worlds, so that a newborn mind never has to split. Makes sense in a weird fucked up way. Wait, 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 wait. Death thins out the veil between worlds, so that a newborn mind never has to split. Is that referring to Lily being a part of her world? I, I don't quite get that. Vitamins, antibiotics, neuroleptics, antidepressants. Even by my standards, that's a lot of pills. Well, who's to say they're all for one person? I don't know what that... Th I know what antibiotics and all this shit was. I don't know what the third one was that she said. Why even give me the opportunity to look over here? Oh, there we go. Hey, I know this one. Used to be one of my favorites. Good. Whew. I take it it's all over there then. Oh, okay. Don't do this to me. Burnt to a crisp. Guess I should look for a spare. What the fuck even is that? <laughs> and now it's open over here. <laughs> 
I guess it's the kind of door that only opens without power, which doesn't make a lot of sense. Oh, now this is starting to remind me of that cruise ship level towards the end of Resident Busted Evil 7. Open. From the inside. Ah, oh, yes. This was definitely Lily's place. Where hmm. he kept her. Salt. Who knew it was that simple? A bit of alchemy, some spiritual infusion, and there you have it. Looks like the folktales are true after all. Anyway, the room is ready and it works. It actually works. For the first time in my life, I can feel alone. It feels fucking wonderful. I'm sure it does, you Imagine sick bastard. being locked up in this place. Having a needle shoved into your arm day in, day out. You didn't deserve this, Lily. Well, some for some people that's a reality. And the salt. The whole room is lined with it. And I'm sure there's a reason for Little that. windows into the world. It's something, I guess. Sunshine doesn't really translate to text, though. Oh, well. She'd be a grown woman by now, but the room is still all dolls and unicorns. Well, based on the fact that she's a, her ghost is appearing to you as a motherfucking child, I'm assuming she died as a motherfucking child. Quite the selection. So she could doll herself up with no one to see her. Maybe he meant well, but somehow this just feels sadistic. Maybe I'm missing something, but why exactly is she stuck in- Oh, yeah, never mind, I remember. I remember. Still fucked up, though. But then again, he's acknowledged it's fucked up. Um... I didn't realize, I didn't remember being that far back down the hallway, but okay. What do you think I'm gonna put in there? I mean, that was honestly a really easy puzzle. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've done a puzzle like that nice in a game decor. like this. Very uh, minimalist. You know, nothing this reminds me of? That movie, 10 Cloverfield Lane. Not the original movie, but the one with Kate, Mary, Elizabeth Winstead, some bullshit, the hot chick. Reminds me of that. Although I don't really get people like that. Meaning like dooms like doomsday people like I, I don't get that. I'm preparing for a doomsday, bro. Just fucking live your life. If the doomsday hits, just die. <laughs> huh? Mold. It looks pretty fresh. Someone's been here recently. You mean like fucking Thomas? Hmm. If I find enough pieces, I might be able to get to the other side. Better get to it, Alice. I mean, what are you expecting to find on the other side? <laughs> and where am I supposed to find pieces of broken... Okay. There we go. Here's one. So far, so good. I love the how there are just like, glass shards lying the fuck around. Two more. Let me guess, there's one in each room. Mm -hmm. 
None in here? That's actually kind of surprising. Oh! There. Another one. I see that. A few urinals. Do uh, you have a, your laundry thing in the... <laughs> God damn it. Wait a minute. No? Okay, never mind. Okay, this place is filthy right now, but like even totally clean, it would suck to live here. And here's his place. This should be enough. Let's make magic happen. This was definitely Thomas's workspace. I can sense the determination. Whatever he was working on, he really gave it his all. Based on that music, I'm going to assume I'm getting towards the end. Jack Orcon, the last goodbye. Don't. <clears throat> Keeping distance. She almost saw me today. Sensed me. I should have known. I need to be more careful. Keep my distance. It's just that I just... On a day go... Not a day goes by that I don't think of her. I know I did the right thing leaving her at the hospital. It's better this way. She's better this way. But I keep thinking of that day. When it finally happens. When she discovers what she really is. She'll be confused. Afraid. I should be there for her. To help her make sense of it all. To tell her it's all right. No! She'll make it through. She's strong. Just like her mother. At least he thought of Looks you. Looks like he could never quite let go of his passion. In another life, perhaps. Is he even still alive, though? Well, he's not. Because all that stuff with him happened way in the past. Send the monster away. Or to get Why your other self run? back. Why can we be away? Can I go in here? No? Okay. And that's her. Oh. And there it was. The moment we finally met. What, Lily or your dad? Or the creature? Spend years in Henry's fucked up world. Oh, ah. When you. You sent him away. I could. I could finally. break free. That's why you're so important. You can finish this. Where is he? 
Where is my father? I, I don't know. time in my life I, I don't feel his presence I, I've been away for so long could you could you stay for a moment? Tell me uh, how I'm all this started. Ah. Uh, and that's where we get to where we are now. So she's talking to nobody in those cutscenes in Tarim. What happened to her? What is this place? This is where he kept her. That cell back there. He only exists in one world. Keeps the other one out. He built it so that he could be alone. Lily became unstable. From being unstable. locked the fuck up. What do you mean? She's a medium too, Marion. A powerful one. I guess it runs in the family. When Richard... Something inside her. Something. Something terrible. And it was only a matter of time before it got out. It's what your father feared. What he tried to avoid. That's why he called me. But that means. That... Yes. She's still alive. There's still a way to save her. You have to find her, Marianne. Where is she? Where is my sister? You know where. Oh. 
In the lake. Yep. It's coming. Time for you to go. I'll hold it off for as long as I can. I'm not leaving you. Excellent. Hmm. So remember how I theorized that Lily was that Lily might be still alive, but then I kind of um, rebuked my own guess because of the fact that you know her spirit and her body were in different places. Um, one thing. Well, actually, did I even get there? I, no, I don't think I got there yet. But one thing that I didn't consider, if I even got there yet, was that. Um, Thomas's body and his spirit can be in different places at the same time, too. I didn't consider that. So, so like, it's totally reasonable that the, the same way it could be for Lily. Although that probably means that Lily's still missing her fucking arm. But I suppose missing a fucking arm is fine if you're still alive. Unless, of course, you're suicidal. In which, if, in which case, it doesn't matter. Well, since Thomas is holding off that asshole, my guess is I won't have to deal with his sorry ass anymore. Got him. This is it. The place from my dream. I've walked this path a thousand times in my mind. I know every inch of it. But this time... Something is different. This time, it's fucking real. It's not some bullshit. By the way, I can't run, otherwise I would. And when I say run, I do mean like, quietly sort of jog. There it is. I'm getting close. I can feel it. I can feel it so clearly now. And there it is. I'm mostly being quiet right now in order to preserve the atmosphere. Sister, the fuck? 
Lily, I... I didn't know. I couldn't remember. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It was better that way. At least you had a life. For a while. Lily Ann. That day. That day when the fire broke out at our house. I made a deal. The part of my soul that was tormented was set loose. You mean the monster? But why? To save you. It helped us escape the flames, but in return, I had to set it free. Free to devour. To destroy. To kill. An even massacre. Yes. All those people died so that we could live. Because I lived, so did my demons. Father knew my powers were too dangerous. He left you at the hospital so you could have a normal life. And what about you? Did he try to... No. Maybe he should have. But he couldn't bring himself to do it. Instead, he locked me away. But he only delayed the inevitable. The monster, he got out. Now you're here. You're the only one who can fix this. You. We both share our father's gifts, but also his fate and the dream. The dream? All I see is a girl. You. Shot dead. Here, on this pier. Hasn't it already happened? No. It's not the past you see. The dream. It's what I want to happen. What? It all ends in me. But no, no, no! You can't send a spirit away while the host is still alive. That's why you couldn't destroy the monster. That's why Sadness didn't want to go. But... You're my sister. That's why it has to be you. I... I'm not strong enough. It... it won't let me. Only you can end this. Only you can fix what our father could not. Liliana, I can't. Please, don't I'm make me sorry. do this. It's the only way to destroy it. To prevent further bloodshed. Lily? <laughs> oh. Marianne? What's going on? Skin suit. Now too small. Constricting. Outgrown. Don't.
There is another way. Marianne. No! <laughs> what is she doing? It's just it's nothing! It's like you said. I'm your only chance. <laughs> Aren't I? You need me. A medium strong enough to sustain you. The others? They only lasted for so long before you broke them down. Marianne, please. I don't want Maybe this. Maybe it's not your choice. Maybe this is my story after all. No! Stop don't it. do this! Please, sister. Set me free. No! Stay back. Stay back! All of us to me. It has to be. It has to be you. You'll never stop killing. Only you can end this. You can't only save and free butterfly. It all starts with a dead girl. What? No, there's gotta be a fucking no. No, 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 no. No. There's okay. I'm gonna put a. Hmm. There's got to be a motherfucking after credit scene. There's got to be. I'm gonna let this credit scene play for a little bit for the sake of the music, but there's got to be a motherfucking.